Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about the game Sir X2, Ryu Jinx, as well as Pizza Boy. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about the game Sir X2. Now, it's no secret that the game Sir X2 gets you access to a highly controversial Switch emulator on Android. An emulator that is hacked up quite a bit to even get Switch games running on the platform. An emulator that is horribly inaccurate, isn't optimized at all, plays Switch games pretty poorly, uh, arguably contains malware, contains stolen code from Yuzu, is not available on the Google Play Store because of, well, aforementioned points. On top of that, it'll cook your phone in the process. The app itself is absolutely garbage. However, the controller isn't too bad at all. And that's a very interesting point. Anyway, someone modded the X2 Type-C here with a couple of fans to help keep the phone cool. Maybe for using other emulators. But moving on from all of that, I'm a big fan of controller mods and I think this mod is genius. Adding in some fans here can really help cool down your phone. I mean, if you're using something like Aether SX2 or even Dolphin, Yes, your phone is gonna heat up. If you're pushing it to its max, it's kinda nice here to have some built-in fans to help cool the phone down. I have no idea how effective this is, but it's probably much more effective compared to nothing. So truth be told here, valuable shoe. I wouldn't be surprised if GameSir actually uses your design, uses your idea here to implement in one of their next versions of the controller. I mean, to me, this is pretty genius. Next up, we're talking about Switch emulation on PC with Ryujinx. Ryujinx has been on fire lately. They have update after update. And all of these updates have improved the emulator quite a bit. In fact, today alone, looking at the Ryujinx change log here, well, we have one, two, three, four different updates. This emulator is extremely active and it keeps getting better and better. We'll start out here by taking a look at version 1.186, which is already kind of outdated. Big shader texture size with multi-sample and buffer textures. This does fix graphical issues in Rune Factory 5 and Bubble Bubble 4 Friends. Version 1187 here, I normally don't inform you about these ones because there's no known changes in games, just some emulator improvements in general. Uh, 1188, this applies to Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. So it fixes menu and text glitches. If you're having issues, hopefully some of those might be fixed. There are still some fixes in the process here. The game isn't perfect just yet, but at the same time, it's pretty darn good. Uh, 1189, if you play, I'm gonna butcher this name, so I apologize. A Hatsun Miku Project Diva. Well, if you've got white lines in the sky, hopefully they aren't there now. So in terms of Switch emulation on PC, when it comes to Ryu Jinx or Yuzu, my answer is choose both. Try out both. Sometimes Yuzu performs better for certain games on certain PCs, and sometimes Ryu Jinx performs better. It'll all come down to your individual machine and probably also your personal preferences. But cheers to the Ryujinx team for being awesome. Last up here, we're talking about Game Boy Advance emulation on Android with Pizza Boy GBA Pro. If you pay for Pizza Boy GBA Pro, you're probably gonna like this update, but you do have to be enrolled in their beta program. Joining the beta is pretty simple and straightforward. On the Google Play Store, if you do have the app all ready to go, uh, just click join under join the beta. It might take a few minutes to join, but it's not full, so you should be able to join it. Now, once you've joined the beta and have the new version of Pizza Boy Pro, boot it up, hit the settings menu, and then click on general. From here, you'll see a brand new option called analog stick. You can feel free to check that off. It replaces the D-pad with an analog stick, which might actually be much better for touch controls. I also recommend checking boundless direction controls just to make your life easier. That way, if you're using the D-pad, you're not accidentally hitting other controls as you're running your thumb over them. Unfortunately, at this time, there is no graphic difference between the analog stick and the D-pad. When you click analog stick, it doesn't change this graphically, which I would say is a little annoying. Hopefully they do change this in the future. It would be nice to see a visual representation of an actual joystick here as opposed to the D-pad. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Ryu Jinx, 
a pretty cool mod for the GameSir X2 Type-C or Pizza Boy Pro? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.